What's going on guys? Speculation and guess who's back in the garage? We got What's Brian. Going on, peeps? Yeah, I got Brian back. I'm happy. I was going a little nuts by myself. Like I'm used to talking to people, having some interaction out here. Yeah, some people got snowed in in the mountains in West Virginia over there, so I had to cover some shifts. Yeah. Hey, but he made some money though. That's the important part. <laughs> But yeah, we're back on the Factory 5 Hot Rod Truck, and today, we're doing doors! Just kidding. Well, kind of. <laughs> we're gonna work on the door handles. I know you guys are probably tired of just door video, like it was four in a row. Trust me, we're tired of it too. <laughs> but, team, team cargo nuts. <laughs> no, it's too late, I already got them on. <laughs> we'd, be done, we'd be done already. <laughs> nah, I got them on. No, we're doing doors. So, but we're gonna do the door handles, and then, let me say, we're gonna work on the bracket get this tied in and then um if we get enough time we'll probably work on lighting as well so get headlights oh there you go peeps you can vote on that one too team lambo doors no no yeah, regular good. doors were a headache if they come out right through these roll, roll bars right here no team lambo <laughs> doors team gullwing no no <laughs> you got a seam right here already Team Gullwing. If you didn't like Team Carganet, it's going to be Team Gullwing. I'm never going to financially recover from this. <laughs> <laughs> well, we already have the hinges. You're just going to move them up and stick them to this part of it. <laughs> little air compressor and a spray nozzle there to puff some air up. <laughs> it's like 30 plus hours of work on these doors already. Oh, I know. No. <laughs> Team Gullwing. Oh, Lord. Oh, uh, but just for you guys' information, Brian and I just talked about this as well. Uh, go ahead and tell them the good, your happy news. It looks like Team Superchargers winning. Yeah, so I already looked up Superchargers uh, um, last night, actually. So, looks like the people have spoken. So, coming at some point on this build, Supercharger will be on this car. You guys want it? All right, so stay tuned. We're gonna get to work. Welcome back guys. So, we made a little progress until <laughs> what happened, Brian? Um, obviously at some point during this build, we reappropriated the 10 30 seconds by one inch bolts for the door handles for something else. Yes. Which isn't shocking. So we got the door handles on. They spin and move. They're not attach anything because the clevis that attaches the cable to the door handle. Yeah, that's uh. No idea. Well, we have those. We have those. That was the first thing we drilled. Just don't have the. The thing that attached this bolt to the other clevis so we can put the cable and use that to make. Use this to make that move, to make this latch move, to make. Yeah. And, and Murphy's Law of Factory 5 will state that as soon as we buy them and come home, we'll find the other ones. So, we'll just have extra ones. Because you never know when you have too many 10, 30 second by one inch Phillips head bolts. It's got a point. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so we're going to uh, gonna call it for today. This man's got to go to work anyways. Make that money. And yeah, I've got to figure out what I'm eat for dinner. Masha fed herself today. That's a scary thought. <laughs> yeah, so I gotta figure this out. All right, stay tuned. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Welcome back, guys. Brian, what's going on, peeps? So, what stopped us yesterday? This little screw right here. Well, kind of screw bolt, whatever. Ten thirty-two. We were missing them. Pick some up today. 
Brian and I are going to get this door going. Should we tell him what we got to do next week? No. No. You guys got to wait. Yeah, it'd be next. a surprise. Yeah, you got to wait till next week. We we did make a discovery. <laughs> oh yes, new merch. Some modifications may be required. I have it in a zip up hoodie and a pullover hoodie. Check out the front with the little logo. Ah yes. Oh my my sexy little model right here. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, new merch in the store and. Yeah, that hoodie applies. So, um, yeah, we have some stuff we got to next week that wasn't initially part of the plan or being, hoping we wouldn't have to do, but some modifications may be required. All right, stay tuned. We're going to get uh, these door handles put in. Um, oh, we never actually showed them putting the door handles in. We just kind of did it. So. Yeah, you can probably show <laughs> So. <laughs> Here it goes. One of those TikTok videos. <laughs> fingers and they're done. Yeah, it was like, wait, wait, wait. There's no door handle. Hey, door handle. Hey. But yeah, it's not connected to anything. This is pretty simple. Let's see if I can reach in there and pop it open. There we go. So the door handle is literally two 1032 screws you just screw it into the mounting plate with the rubber gassing on it took all of seven seconds so stay tuned and we're gonna put the actual cables in and little brackets and i should have functioning doors on, at least on the outside the inside that that's later later <laughs> all right stay tuned guys Looks like I picked the easy side. Uh -huh. I'm just just talking to the people. Looks like I picked the easy side, folks. But that's how it works. Oh. Besides Gary slamming his door over there. So the door shuts and it pushes that lock up there. Now I'll do it. So now the door is latched and you pull up the door handle. Oh, that's why the door handle is stuck. Alright, let's try this again. So you do the door shut and it's latched and you pull up the door handle. Boom! That's how your door works. Welcome back, guys. So you saw Brian show his beautiful side. He he, he lucked out today. He got the easy side. Uh, so, oh, I hate you. <laughs> look at this. Look, look at this. Just, just look at this. And it just pops open. A little fitment on the bottom there. We're all right. Yeah, it just needs to get sanded, but like that's just putting the door gaps in. But it doesn't like being slammed. You love the passenger side door. Yeah, just slam it in, and then and it just pops right open. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So Brian's update was almost an hour ago when I was still slamming my door trying to get it to a just work in general. So we're going with, we'll start with the positives first. The positive, the door handle, spring, spring returns beautifully. Spring returns beautifully. But you notice I'm popping the door and the door's not opening. Pop it open, give it a little yank, It'll open. What's going on is these hinges are still misaligned. Even though, like, Brian, you held the door up, 
because right here, when we swing it open, the misalignment is here, but it's close enough to where if you push it, it'll line up. So I did that. Hopefully I can get these hinges to align because you should be able to loosen the hinges. The door is sitting where it wants to sit and then you just tighten the hinges again. Yeah, that's not the case. So you got to give it a little love, pull this door open. But here goes the cable setup. I know Brian showed you on his side, but I had to pull my hinge apart because we had tightened these clevises too much. And then I had to loosen these clevis. I had to pull this out. I had to make room for mine because the, it was a little too close. So I had to bend it. it. It was a nightmare. But we got two working doors, one and a half working doors, one and a half. There we go. It's got to slam it. We're going to figure it out. We are going to fix it. And Brian is just finagling with what needs to get sanded on his side of the door so we can do good door gaps. Yeah. Brian, think that should be a good for this video? Yeah, it's probably good. I think it's good for this video. I really do appreciate you guys watching. Um, these door handles were a little bit more of a hassle than I expected, but we got them working. One and a half working. The doors stay closed and they can be opened. So I'm gonna call that working. But yes, I do appreciate you guys watching these videos. Brian appreciates it as well. And like this type of content, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, because apparently some of you guys aren't getting the notifications. I just found that out uh, the other day. Like they hadn't got notifications since like July, since we test drove the or August, since we test drove the car. So hit the notification bell so you guys know when we upload every Tuesday, at least. Hey, remember, Team Supercharger and Team Lambo doors. No Lambo. We're not. We're not playing that game. We're not doing Lambo doors. Oh yeah, Team we're, Tesla doors, so they can we're gonna set them to open and close the Christmas music. No, no, no. no we're not doing that. <laughs> but Team Supercharger, uh, I'm still holding out faith. Team Twin Turbos, please catch up. But <sighs> Team Supercharger is kicking our butts in the comment section right now. So yeah, that may be happening. Looks like I gotta find that locomotive supercharger that guy put on his car no brian <laughs> that was a big supercharger <clears throat> no higher than right here nothing nothing higher than right here deal Let's see what we can do I'm nothing gonna, I'm gonna drop the engine any lower though we we, we have the high mount intake manifold. So most superchargers are going to be as high as this. But nothing higher than right here. I, I, I gave you room to go a little crazy, okay? But nothing higher than here. He's going to go higher. I already know it. <laughs> I already know it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Velocity stacks. I'm down for velocity stacks. I actually found a, um, a intake manifold with velocity stacks. Oh, it's expensive. It's really expensive. It's expensive. But it's cheaper than for a Coyote engine. Do you see the ones for the Coyote engine? No, I looked that hard. Sixty five hundred dollars. <laughs> I was like, Ooh, that's more expensive than I can get that engine. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, they're still kind of expensive for this. But if we're doing a supercharged, we can't do velocity stacks. Dual plane, high ram. Then we're doing heart turbos. No, no, no. The big, huge intake stack. And then with, this, with that belt driven supercharger and then that giant blower cap. <sighs> <laughs> No, Brian. <laughs> no. Limit this height. 
Right here. And we can design your logo right into the front of the, the fins on the blower cap. Yeah. Come on now. You gotta think big here. Okay. Uh, how about this for thinking big? That transmission's only gonna handle maybe 800 horsepower. Right. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> It's rated for 700, but for a truck. So this is really light. So it'll probably handle about eight. But yes. So can we keep a blower down here? Yeah, we can probably keep one. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned, guys. Have a good one. Peace.